interesting. So developers um, in that relationship building domain that we began very recently, um, developer really is about seeing the potential in others. And in many ways, it's about not judging what that potential could be, big or small. Folks with high developer love to see, love to see growth, love to see improvement. Um, and in fact, potential and the ability to get to improvement in many cases is all that people with high developer can see. It is about, it's almost like that reverse of the aha moment. You know, when you discover something yourself and you just get that jolt of energy or excitement, people with high developer get that for others. <laughs> it's, it's this beautiful, almost magical relationship building uh, talent that is being able to aim for other people's aha moments and also being able to craft environments, to craft conversations, to craft learning experiences where those kind of discoveries can happen. When you read a little bit of that long definition that we have in, on the companion guide, you'll find great descriptors of people with high developer. When you interact with others, your goal is to help them experience success. It's my favorite sentence out of that entire uh, paragraph there. Um, and again, it's, it doesn't have to be things that maybe other people think as being monumental. Even even small, even invisible growth is important to people with, with high developer. Over time, people might seek you out if you've got high developer for your encouragement, because on some level, they know that that kind of helpfulness that you bring is genuine. It is fulfilling for you. Um, it is really about um, an other's focus, whether you look at it as an individual contributor or as a leader. Um, so it, it, when we think about what's the extension of developer, uh, that's sort of just the definition. What then does it look like in a leader? I was almost struggling with this because most times when I take you through this leadership extension, I just ask myself, what does it do for me? And then what can it do for others? That's, that's sort of where my brain goes to decide uh, what does it look like in a leader? The interesting thing about developer is it's already so so others focused. Uh, I think perhaps the difference and the differentiation between being an individual contributor and being a leader is as an individual, your focus is on other individuals. As a leader with developer, you can be more group or organization focused. You can think about expanding that, uh, that developer theme, which in many ways makes it look more like it would fit in the influencing category of leadership, perhaps than just purely in relationship building. Developer is all about seeing potential, about imagining things that haven't yet happened, and about inspiring people to get there. And if you think about what that might bring to leadership, you can see how helpful it could be as a visionary, as more than just a mentor or a coach, but perhaps as a dreamer, perhaps as a different avenue of creativity that's more about um, even incremental growth. So I think about leaders with high developer asking themselves, how can we get better? What incremental improvement are we tracking? What should we celebrate? Um, where are our greatest pockets of potential? And how can how can maybe our clients develop and improve? Not even not only thinking about development of your organization or development of the individuals in that organization, but development of those who you serve. I think um, there's also an element of patience with the current state that developer brings because the current state is never the end. People with high developer can see um, that today is part of a bigger journey, that today is part of where we're going to be better tomorrow. And I think that that can bring a hopefulness to it. It can, can bring some imagination uh, that oftentimes I think leads to a great leadership experience. In many ways, developer can also also be relentlessness. I think about developer as being really um, what can make you persevere, understanding that, hey, together we can do better and I can see how. Um, there's, uh, I, I'm excited that we get to talk to Nikki because she also has Maximizer in her top five. And sometimes we, we, we see these as being, um, real, real different themes in just in, just in the way that we need to differentiate between them to understand the theme itself. Maximizer is much more selective than developer. It really says, I want to focus on areas that are already good and I can see how that they can be better. Developer in many ways says, I I'll focus anywhere. I can see how we can all get a little bit better. And I think that can bring almost a hard um, a relentlessness to it. it. It doesn't necessarily have to be this soft sort of, I'll grow you, I'll mold you sort of thing. It can be, hey, we can do more. We can do better at all stages of the game.
I think that great leaders with developer, they, they make celebrations matter because they're not just holding out for the big, huge trophy or the, the enormous improvement. They really can celebrate and, and discuss and speak a language of progress. Um, you should know if you're a leader with developer that you're picking up on potential that other people's aren't are other people are not seeing. So understand that and be patient with other people when you might have a lens or a filter on the world that tells you there's something there in someone or tells you an idea within your organization or an initiative has the power to be better and that your voice is going to be an important part of translating that potential into um, into investment, uh, translating that potential into focus, translating it into how it lands with the values of your team or of your organization. Uh, think about how your pursuit of something greater can inspire hope rather than discontent. We talk about leaders in a lot of different ways. You might be listening to this and think, I don't have any direct reports, uh, so I, it doesn't apply to me. Well, think about being a leader in your community, a leader in your friend group, a leader in your family. A leader with developer always sees a way that it can get better. And in many in many ways, that could look like I'm just never going to be happy. Uh, find ways to communicate potential. Find ways to talk about not what's what's missing, but how much better things can be. Um, it can be confusing for people who don't see it. It can be, um, you can sound a little bit like you're pushing the envelope. You can sound a little bit like you might be dreaming or like you just have more energy, even in the face of a challenge than other people do. So um, you think about, you can you could do that by aligning your values with, with development areas. Think about um, rather than just saying, we're gonna go for this next big challenge, talk about how that aligns with who you are. Talk about how that aligns with the who you want to be known as, as an organization or even as a family. I think also you have an important voice in performance management conversations. What kinds of things are we going to hold people accountable for? How are we going to define success? How often can we do this? Because it comes so naturally to you, um, having a seat even at the strategic table for talking about how you could help other people have those same conversations is an excellent use of your talent. So let's talk a little bit more about those needs of followers and what that looks like specific to developer. Um, a developer might help build trust by intentionally demonstrating your strategy in areas where you want people to develop. Simply put, just practice being a teacher. Um, don't don't pass up an opportunity to share um, how you see somebody could get better um, and understand that they might not see it and the how part of that conversation is powerful. It might be something as simple as saying, hey, I know you can't run a marathon tomorrow, but I bet I can help you, you know, make it up that hill by the end of the day. A leader with developer might show compassion by discussing your own improvements. Um, that might inspire people to constantly reach if they see what kind of challenges have you overcome? What are you better at today than you were a year ago? Uh, understand your own story there and help, uh, help share that you're not just setting the bar for other people, but that growth is part of how you interact every single day. And that includes your own self-reflection. A leader with developer can provide stability by practicing and clearly communicating the connections between improvement and success. Be predictable. Know that, uh, that you are going to be that voice who says, if we do X, then it leads to Y. Not It can be so entertaining and so inspiring and so motivating for you just to help people get better. Uh, others might not get that same jolt of energy. So you might need to help them make that connection between when we get better, here's the return on our investment. And finally, a leader with developer can inspire hope. I could end that with a period. A leader with developer can inspire hope. But here's how. Seek out unclear chaotic or difficult situations. Help people imagine incremental improvements in those. Be the place where nobody can see how growth could ever happen. Show up to those hard meetings. Be there when those times are difficult. Um, show up when people can't see a way out and help them see even small improvements. Um, understand that you've got this lens on the world that, that other people don't. And uh, and the secret to really investing in that in that talent and turning it into a strength is just finding the best way to share it. There's my overview for developer, a fantastic theme that really is about noticing, celebrating, and facilitating the growth of others.